Amidst a global pandemic and the surge in COVID-19 cases here in Uganda, there is a lot of misinformation that is trending on social media about the COVID-19 vaccine that we get to demystify here on The Debunk. On this episode, we demystify the claim that people need to be tested first for COVID-19 before being vaccinated. My name is Marina Pio and welcome to The Debunk. On 10th June 2021, the debunk team encountered the claim that was being shared on WhatsApp and the opening statement reads, For those of you who would wish to be vaccinated, yesterday I was told by a doctor that the rising rates of deaths are as a result of people vaccinating, yet they are infected already. It is advisable before vaccination first test. To answer this question, we speak to Dr. Monica Museneru, former presidential advisor on epidemics and now minister of science, technology and innovation to clarify if it is recommended to test first for COVID-19 before being vaccinated. Dr. Monica, is vaccination before testing because of the rising COVID-19 deaths here in Uganda? Uh, no, at this point, we are not testing people for COVID-19 before they get vaccinated. And globally, that has not been the practice. Uh, the worst thing that can happen when you get vaccinated and you're already infected is that you will get sick normally as you get sick with a normal virus. The vaccine will not affect the disease, the cause of the disease, because for it to affect the cause of the disease, it needs to uh, have been given before. So uh, vaccination does not alter the cause of an existing disease. So that person was still going to have an infection. He was still going to run his cause of the disease. He was still, so vaccination does not cause death. It does not even make a person more sick if they were vaccinated when they were infected. It does not have that impact. So it cannot be a cause for more people dying. The reason why more people are dying are the same reasons that are dying in other places because we have a lot of people who are infected and those people don't get to the hospital where they should they will get care in time uh, basically either because they think they don't need to go to the hospital they will manage at home or because they don't have access to a facility in time or because they didn't know that they had covid until it is too late then people who need especially oxygen if they can't access oxygen in time if they cannot access treatment uh, at a stage which they call cytokine storm, when their immune system is messed up. If they, can, they are not in hospital to be helped to manage that, it breaks their bodies and that causes the death, it damages their bodies. So, and we know that also COVID shows differently in different people, like all diseases. There are people who will have a very severe disease. There are people who have a mild disease. So these are the same things that have caused the COVID deaths everywhere. Besides fear, anxiety and worry, the impact of this claim is that it could discourage very many people from being vaccinated. Dr. Monica Museneru has some advice for those who are yet to be vaccinated. We know that when it, that is the first dose, uh, the protection is, there is some protection the vaccine gives you, but it comes later, it doesn't come immediately. So when you get an opportunity to get vaccinated, grab it with both hands. And even if it means lining there for a full day, please take that jab, uh, take your second jab. You are much, much safer and protected. Because even in future, even if you get infection, it will be mild to not be as uh, severe as in those who are not vaccinated. Thank you so much, Dr. Monica, for that great advice and the insights that you've given. Now, our call to action is that be aware of the so much misinformation on social media and in the media. Also, it is very important to research 
fact check and question some of the information before you forward or share with your loved ones. Just to re echo the facts, vaccination before testing is known because of the rising COVID-19 deaths in Uganda. Follow the recommended public health procedures like wearing a mask, washing your hands, sanitizing, and keeping a social distance. For more of these facts, follow the Media Challenge Initiative or MCI on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I am Marina Pio. Stay verified.